morning guys welcome back to today's video today we're already in the barn it is early yet sophie's having her western lesson early today it's gonna be an early lesson hey <laughs> the color on my camera has been horse is coming. uh oh my horse is coming good because i'm dressed in my riding stuff i want to ride today too it's freezing though my my horse didn't come he's getting muscle in his neck Sophie says that she, Storm's getting muscle in his neck. Last ride I had on him was good. Yeah, so Sophie had a lesson last week and then she had three rides this week, three practice rides. I think I had been poor, Because I feel like I rode more. I know, because she always wants to ride. She never wants to stop riding. Like, that's all she wants to do is ride. So the last ride she had was like the best ride that she had. She kept him going like nice and slow and she she like was figuring out stuff and practicing the things that she had learned so that's good flaky has it called <laughs> so. um so we had her lesson i'm gonna run my girl now i saw something in the comments people are misunderstanding they think our horses are in stalls all day except for when they're on grass people are suggesting we put them in a dry paddock that's what this is and the field outside here. This is where they stay all day and all it night. It goes all the way back there. Yeah, so just for anybody who's not understanding. But anyways, the Sylvia had her lesson. It was so amazing. And Sylvia, what, how did you feel about your lesson? It was good. It was better than the last one. Way better than the last one. I feel like Storm is learning to be a Western horse. He was like 50% more remembering than the last lesson. I guess Sylvia rode. Sophie rode almost the whole lesson in her with no with no reins, not allowed to use okay. any reins. So tell it them. It was a struggle because Gabby came. Yeah, it was a as struggle. As soon as Gabby came, she was like, "I'm going to Gabby." Yeah, and she had you know how people are always like, "Get past the gate, get past the gate," because horses want to stop at the it's gate. Get past the Gabby. Get past Gabby. So, anyways, he like so still. Next time if she comes, she's going at the far end. Yeah. The so the coach is like, "Put him, put Gabby at the spooky corner." <laughs> um. Then he'll. Going there. So I what, don't like him running my leg in the fence because we did that uh, the last time I rode without the coach, and he spooked. Yeah, he, he jumped off the rail. He was like, he ah. did run your leg into the into the fence. Okay, so answer me. <sighs> answer me this. What's your homework? Uh, uh, no Slow, rain. relax. Slow, no rains. Um, kick Gabby out of the arena. <laughs> No Gabby's allowed. Um, I don't know. How are you going to do it if you don't remember? I, you know, I forget. So it was, she said it just on her way out the door. So it's go slow. Sam is over there. Dragging. Sam is over there dragging the arena. So uh, Sophie rode, now I'm going to ride. <laughs> but the arena is looking so nice. All right. Um, Look okay. All right, we should, I should brush. Anyway, it was such a good lesson. Like, I, I all riding now. Uh, there was a time I was like, never could see myself enjoying watching people ride Western. But honestly, watching her ride. It's so fun. Oh, no, so no, fun. No. Uh, these are a couple of the things that the trainer taught Sophie. Oh, she undid it. But she taught her how to do this up differently. And on the other side, she taught her how to tie up the girth. See, that's what that thing's for. Who knew? <laughs> We have no experience in English. It's like we're starting over completely. Like we have no experience in Western at all. Also, someone mentioned that my stirrups were a little bit too short, so I'm gonna change those. Good girl. Back up, ah. back up, back up, back up. Good girl. If I take a few minutes and make Penny listen to me, whoa, whoa. Okay, not in the middle of where people walk. Yeah, are not in the middle of where people walk. Everybody's annoyed with me. If I take a few minutes and make her listen now, back up, then when I get on, she does better. Now we're not eating grass and we're not racing ahead. Sam did the arena again. Like, I love that. Also, we have our picks of the day, which is Penny and Honey and Chino all coming out here. Wow. Even better than when Sophie rode, it's so soft and fluffy. I know, it looks so good, thank you. I redid the arena, so there's a new fresh ride in a new arena. I even put the tires up, see? The tire, the tire on the thing there, and another one on that tire. 
All right, we're walking out in the arena. Honey, are you, what are you walking with? Honey? Honey, you're walking with honey? Oh, hey, honey. Hey, honey. She's going everywhere with me. She's spooky. Going everywhere with you? Yeah. Her spooks are bolt and then stop. Why is she spooking? She's in the spooky stage. The spooky stage? <laughs> She's what, over a year old now, so. Yeah. Yeah. She's getting sassy. She knows out for a walk. And the horses are missing the other horses. Fee is going to tell Laura what to do. Add your leg if you want her through the trail. And don't let her skip corners. No skipping corners. Oh, she's never seen tires before. Honey uh, hasn't seen tires before. She's seen them on the ground over there in the barn. Tires. Okay, we're like stuck there. We going anywhere? He's mad. Gino apparently is a scared of a tire. <laughs> so, Gabby's getting them associated to the tire. I'm sure he's jumped them before. And here comes Laura, Rod and Penny, and Ellie is following. I think it'd be good for Ellie to follow her so that maybe when they go on a trail ride they can bring Ellie and if Ellie learns like that she's learning if Ellie learns to follow she'll follow like that on a trail so perfect idea there's little Ellie hauling around I think Ellie is like the perfect farm dog, believe it or not. Like she runs around the horses, follows. She's following Laura around right now. Like the perfect farm dog. Gabby's over there with another tire. Sophie wants to hop on Penny now.
Gabby's going to show Chino the purple tire now. I'm not sure if I recorded that, but now Sophie's on. There's a kid over there. That's a squirrel. See, look. I drive her with my legs past the corner, she doesn't stop. More leg, more leg. Laura needs to Laura needs to work her legs. I was doing that though. <laughs> baby squirrel. Oh, wait, Penny's going off course. That's why the horses don't like that side. There's a baby squirrel in the tree over there screaming. And that's the spooky side. Oh, Gabby put the other tire up there in the middle. Laura's pulling up poles. Laura's back on. Set up some poles. She's gonna probably walk some poles. Sophie's down there looking for the squealing noises. Yeah, they think it's a cat, but we hear it sounds like a squirrel. Penny is <laughs> doesn't want to go there because.
after every ride, Sam's been dragging the arena. <laughs> so the horses are all on hay on the grass now after our rides. Oh man, I can't even, you know how like people take the best part of their ride and show that and they don't show like the bad stuff. I always show the bad stuff, but my ride with Penny today, there's not even like, I couldn't even cut out all the bad stuff and still have a, a thing to ride. So I want to point out the good in my ride with Penny. So basically, to me, she's like Storm was to Gabby when she was young. I trust her with my whole heart. She doesn't want to work. She's lazy. She's, she's old. She doesn't want to do it. It's boring to her, mostly. She doesn't want to do it because she loves trails. Like, she wants to go someplace. When I go to a trail, she just goes. Like, she just loves it and everything. Like, I know that she loves it. And it, what we're doing now is so boring to her. And then we had Chino in the arena, and she just wanted to go stand by Chino. Like, she's like, why is he standing there if I can't? So I get that. So the beauty of my ride with Penny is that one, I trust her. She would never do anything dirty to me. She doesn't try and hurt me in any way. I trust her. I'm able to like take my feet out of the stirrups and just go on her even though she didn't want to go. But she just gives me so much confidence and anything she does, like trying to go back to the gate and trying to like go stand with Chino, like none of it bothers me because I don't, none of it scares me. I don't even know that I want her to be the kind of horse that goes around an arena and has to listen to my every command. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Penny is a horse, she's a lead trail horse and she's used to just going out there and taking people who don't know how to ride on a trail and just going and doing it all herself. And it's so ingrained in her and I don't want to like take that from her. I don't know, I trust her. What she does and how she leads on the trail is what I want from her. So like right now I'm just trying to like walk her around and build her up and get her a little bit more in shape before we start trail season, which we're supposed to start really soon. We're waiting for our friend to get a saddle for her horse. Maybe I can talk them into going before then. <laughs> I think I might be able to. Yeah, so all the good stuff in my ride today was about me, the things that I feel like that I've learned from Penny. I swear to God, this is how Sophie works out every single day. Yeah, hold on. She, she loves this swing. Hold like, on, hold on. how come it's so low? Hold on. I use the tree. I got tired. Oh. Sam's making it super strong because she rides on this swing so often that the friction is wrecking the rope. So this baby's getting a chain. Dude, that one never closed. I love watching the horses though. Like just watching them. Like this is it, you guys. Hopefully, this is all it, all our horses is what all we'll ever have, plus Chino. Like, I think, like, this is our herd. This was our dream so long ago. She had so much energy, like, I was walking her back so I could hop on Penny, and she was trotting. I look behind me, and she's there just bucking, just running and bucking beside me. Yeah, honey's she's loving the grass. Honey was raised on grass. on grass. She was she born on grass, was raised on grass, never had hay before we got her. We had to wean her onto hay. There's honey trotting. Go that way and pull. All the little horses stick together. Okay. All right, that was a lie. I see two more horses in our future. I see another horse for Gabby and I see a horse, a mini for me. <laughs> Ellie's been outside with me this whole entire day. She's had a drink in the barn, but she's got to be exhausted. Like, she is such a good farm dog, you guys. She's as good of a farm dog as the big horses, uh, as the big dogs are. Don't you know the